Hustler! No way! Live coverage of the Site One Bassmaster Elite at Lake Okeechobee is sponsored by Yamaha. Championship Sunday, the first one of 2023. The Site One Bassmaster Elite at Lake Okeechobee wraps up today. It is day four, Championship Sunday. The top 10 leaving C. Scott Driver Park with one goal in mind to catch as much weight as possible and win a big blue trophy. $100,000 at stake for the winner and even more when it comes to the season points race. You want to get off to a great start. These 10 have done that. We will see how they fare today as we see the takeoff underway just a few moments ago. The 10 pulled away from the dock and idling out to start their final day. Ronnie Moore here with Mike Sukon for the Garmin Facebook Live pre-show. It seems like it's going to be a fantastic day, Such. Yesterday, the weather coming from the north, no wind today, sunny skies, calm conditions. We should see some good Okeechobee fishing once again. Yeah, like on day two, we had a lot of big catches, big bags, 32 pounds, 15 ounce from Brandon Cobb, a couple 29 pound bags. Let's see if we can do that again. We have three guys who uh, realistically, I mean, a couple eight pounders and three fives, they're there with a the Century Club. That is the goal today. If we could catch a dirty 30 on Championship Sunday for a couple people, then maybe we could break 100 pounds at Lake Okeechobee. As we take a look at our leaderboard starting the day, when we left competition yesterday to send it to weigh-in, it was about a two-pounder change gap between Steve Kennedy, Brandon Cobb, Tyler Rivette, Cobb with a late catch and some, you know, a little bit of adjustments in bass track, and he is just a few ounces behind Steve Kennedy. Meanwhile, Rivette, two pounds exactly behind. Clark Winlet, three pounds behind. And then it starts to get some bigger gaps. Logan Latuso, Logan Latuso just under seven pounds back. Jake Whitaker, just under nine pounds back, eight pounds back and change. Carl Jockamson, the same thing. Not saying they couldn't do it, Ronnie. They'd need a bag, mega bag and the leaders to falter. The one thing about it is they are sharing water this week and there are a couple people in the top 10 near Steve Kennedy. We will see how our day three leader handles everything going on. So since then, that's all I've been doing is going in circles on the same stuff, looking for new fish, fresh fish that moved in, or what I call blind spots that people aren't already fishing. And uh, just throwing a popping frog, covering tons of water, going around in circles, and occasionally you'll trigger one of those big fish. It's, uh, it's absolutely incredible how many are in there. I mean, you'll hear some of these other guys talking about going through 60 Cinco's in a day, catching those little bucks and culling up to 20 pounds. but. Uh, I'm only getting, you know, six, eight, ten bites a day, and I got to get them in the boat. If I can get those big ones in, we got a chance. So. That's all I got. <laughs> day one was a concern for him. He had a big bag, but he said he lost and left some out on the water. But the last few days, Steve Kennedy's fished pretty clean when it comes to the big bites, especially on his top water popping frog. And we will see if, if we could see an Elite Series champion on a frog, like Mark Zona said the last few days. That's something that we do not see in the state of Florida. It would be interesting to see how that happens. If we take a look at our map at Lake Okeechobee, you've got South Bay at the bottom of the lake. We will have a couple competitors possibly, or maybe just limited, maybe just one. We may have Clark Winley being the only one making a run down there. We will see how it all shakes out. Nobody really to the east side of the lake this week. The main cover and the main clear water has been on the west side, Moonshine, Monkey Box, North Shore, Tin House, all of those places playing this week. And yesterday we got to see, we got to see Steve Kennedy really go to work the last few days. Ultra consistent. When we talk about the opportunity to catch 30 pounds, there's also the opportunity to catch 12 to 15 pounds. Meanwhile, Steve Kennedy has caught 23-8, 23-9, and 23-1 for his three days of competition. That equals 70 pounds, two ounces. What a fantastic week it has been for him. Consistency is hard in Florida, Such. Can he do it one more He's day? He's going to have a little more elbow pounds. room that, uh, today, Ronnie. We're, you know, in his spot, there are 31 anglers, I think, on day one and two at least. A little bit fewer yesterday, but it was a slower day with the cloud cover. Today, he's going to have the sunshine and a little more elbow room. And meanwhile, Brandon Cobb kind of shook the tournament up with a 32-pound, 15-ounce bag on day two. It seemed like every time he set the hook, even with his boat not moving, he stayed stationary for a lot of the afternoon on day two. Every time he set the hook, it was a six to eight pounder, and that is how you get 32-15 on a day of competition in the Bassmaster Elite Series. But yesterday, 
made a key decision. He had three fish for eight pounds, which was basically a four pounder and two two pounders for Cobb. He made an adjustment late yesterday, upgraded to about 14 pounds in the Kissimmee River, which was where he planned on possibly fishing until he had such a great day one and day two. We will see if he can regain his fish in his area. Meanwhile, the top 10 fishing today, Mark Frazier coming in 10th place, beating out the likes of Gerald Swindle and others. Brandon Card, what a great story this week. Ninth place coming into the final day. Carl Jockamson making his first top 10 cut in Florida since 2015 two great he started the Elite Series. The last two days. Meanwhile, Jake Whitaker fishing near Steve Kennedy, near Brandon Card, making the top 10. Logan Latuso, our lone rookie in the top 10, showing out in Florida this week. Clark Winlet, that last second six plus pounder down in South Bay is the reason he has a shot to win today. Meanwhile, Tyler Rivette, somebody who had such a rock solid pattern, no one around him relatively, we thought maybe that could hold up. It did not yesterday, a tough day, but still only two pounds out of the lead, led by Steve Kennedy. And that's just a sample of our top 10. There's a couple other anglers we will see out there competing today. Tyler Rivette's got the least run to his area, just a few, 100 yards from takeoff. He's already hooked up live. Yeah, he fell from 29 pounds, two ounces on day two to 14, 11. Yesterday, Ronnie, his spot did not fire. He thought it was gonna. It might today. She's a runner. She's a runner, she's a track star. You thought of it too, huh? <laughs> oh, come on, don't go that way. Just don't fight, just come up. Oh no, shit. Oh my goodness. They're all that size. Let's go! Woo! Yeah! Fairly hooked, look at that. That's how we start the morning! They coming out early today. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, it's <laughs> my face. Ah. <laughs> yeah! That's how we start. That's just one for Tyler Rivette, but that's the right one to start with on Championship Sunday, already popping out the double gun show. It started good for him yesterday. I'm not saying it's gonna go south. He needs to keep it going, keep that momentum going, keep the smile on his face. Tyler Rivette could be in a position to win. You will see it all go down today on Fox Sports 1 and Bassmaster.com. Make sure you join us for the Site 1 Bassmaster Elite starting at 8 a.m. Eastern time, about 15 minutes from now. We'll be on Fox Sports 1, you can catch Live mix with angler commentary on Bassmaster.com during that time. And then the full show will jump back in around 11 o'clock on Bassmaster.com. And you can catch us all day long there. It's Championship Sunday. The top 10 are competing for a big blue trophy to kick off the Elite Series. We'll see you in just a few minutes.